Tarehe tano Novemba mwaka 2024 ndio siku ambayo nchi ya Marekani ilifanya zoezi la upigaji kura na kumpata rais wake wa 47 ambapo katika kinyang'anyiro hicho Donald Trump alibuka mshindi kwa kumshinda alikuwa mpinzani wake Kamara Harris na kumfanya rais huyo kurudi tena madarakani ikiwa ni awamu yake ya pili katika mahojiano yake ya kwanza tangu apate ushindi wake rais mteule wa Marekani Donald Trump alisema hakuna mjadala juu ya mpango wake wa kuwafukuza wahamiaji wa nchini humo katika mahojiano yake hayo ya kwanza ambayo aliyafanya katika kituo cha CNN alisema miongoni mwa vipo mbele vyake cha kwanza ni kuimarisha ulinzi wa mpakani na hivyo amesema utawala wake hauna budi ila kuwarejesha mkwao wahamiaji hao akidai kuwa hilo ndio litakuwa suluhisho pekee swala la uhamiaji ni miongoni mwa sera iliyomfanya apate ushindi huo na Trump alisema kuwa wapiga kura wa Marekani walikuwa wanatafuta mgombea atakayeweza kuwasaidia Marekani kwa maarifa That's why when they rounded them out I said I don't want them rounded out I want the exact number as well as 25,272 illegals convicted of rape sex offense or sexual assault and in jail these are people all in jail because they don't want them in jail they're too expensive and they don't want them in their countries they're smarter than us they give them to us we're like a dumping ground in total 425,431 non detained meaning they're no longer in detention meaning prison non citizens convicted criminals from all over the world are right now at large in the United States of America with another 222,141 illegals with pending criminal charges and these are serious criminal charges for murder for drugs being sold all over the world where many people have been killed because those are the ones they put in jail we don't do that over here that we get a we, we give them a fine 